Hi folks, Captain Rod here. Hey, I'm, making, uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of videos for you folks today. I'm gonna start with this one here, a little chat about the grades. So <clears throat> we've got th three things going on here. You're gonna be assigned a bunch of homework. You're gonna take a bunch of quizzes. These are all gonna be at uh, my math lab. And then you're gonna take um, four exams and a final. And l let me talk about these things here. First of all, just make sure you're getting pretty much all of the homework done. If you're getting the homework done, and you're looking back on the homework, doing a little reflecting, asking yourself, what was this about? Do I know how to do this now? If the answer to that is yes, everything's gonna work itself out fine. The quizzes have to be timed because it's the only way I can put some sort of measure of security on them. What I do so far is I pick some problems, I try to make it add up to about uh, 10 minutes or so, the computer gives me a time estimate, and then I typically add about 50%. So I've been, uh, you know, setting them at about 15 minutes. If, if you find you need a little more time, I can do some adjusting on that uh, as we move along. I am perfectly happy allowing you to retake a couple of these quizzes, particularly first starting out. So if you've taken a quiz or two and you haven't done well, and right now the computer shows you have a horrible grade, do not panic, okay? I'm certainly willing to work with you on this um, as the course moves on. The exams, I started this because this is the big one here. You're gonna take four exams in the final. Now these exams will be proctored, they're gonna be paper and pencil. The time will be better for these. When I give exams, I tend to wanna to test you on what you know, what you can do, and not how fast you can do it, to within some reason. So, you know, you'll typically be given about an hour and a half to take these exams, and I'll usually design them so I can take them in about uh, maybe 30 minutes or so. I usually try to do at least a three to one speed factor here. So. You know, I figure I can do them at least three times faster than you folks. So this, I think you'll find the exams to be a little bit better experience. You won't be so crushed for time. You will also get partial credit on these exams. That's a little more difficult for me to do with this system on the My Math Lab. So if you are doing your homework and you are getting decent exam scores, you are gonna be fine in the class. Particularly if you can, you know, you do well on the final exam. Ultimately, that's gonna be the cumul the 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 highlight of this class here. You pass this thing here, I have lots of freedom on how I adjust grades here if you do decent or pretty well on that final. I will never adjust how I grade in a way that affects you negatively. I have changed things in the past to uh, give you more advantages as far as you know what your grade is gonna look like. So for right here, right now, please do not panic if you've taken the first quiz or two and you're going, holy crap, you know, I got a bad score. Um, we'll just, we'll make adjustments, we'll move on, focus on get this done, get do, uh, decent here. I'm going to um, be making an exam review right now. You're going to have your first exam next week. I'm going to make a review for it and give you a practice test. And as long as you get the homework done, get those practice tests done and uh, do well on the test, it's going to work out just fine. We have a class of five. That gives me great flexibility with you folks for the timing, uh, how fast we cover material and whatnot. Uh, I have lots of time to help you out, you know, and we'll do so. So, um, all right, we're gonna have a good semester. I just wanna make sure don't don't panic here right now if you've taken the first quiz or two and, and didn't do so well, all right? And uh, I'm gonna end this one right now and make some content videos for you folks.